Hello and welcome to the final video on the chapter on experimental design. And this is another very important concept that you have to be very familiar with. Okay, so confounding variable, confounding variables are basically um, variables other than the factors being tested that may influence a response. And we're not sure if the change in response was from the from the factor or confounding confounding variable. So it's a pretty basic concept. And in any experimental design, um, if you f go after this a lot, you could always kind of find a confounding variable out there. For example, control is a major way to to uh, to use the control the 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 way we used it with the with our principles control what we do is we we make all other factors similar okay all other factors similar okay all other factors that may uh, that may change a response okay that may change uh response. I do this once in a while. A triangle just means change. Okay. Back from my uh, medical days. Okay. So so let's say you don't control your f the other factors. So let's say um, this would be a really, really good um, example is let's say we, we recruited 100 people and to be in this study, you had to weigh over 250 pounds and be a male. So I have 200 males that weigh under 250 pounds. Okay, so what's a factor that may that may um, what's a factor that may in, cause somebody to lose weight? Okay, so one of the biggest ones is somebody's diet. So I've developed a diet a new diet okay I've developed a new diet that I think could help people lose weight and I'm gonna compare that to somebody else's old diet okay so now I go ahead and put I randomly assign a hundred into the new and I put a hundred into the old I'm going to me measure their weight before. They have to be above this. So my before, I'm going to get their weight. And then what am I going to measure here after? I'm going to measure their weight after. Okay. I'm going to measure their weight after, let's say, three months on my diet. And let's say the weight after three months. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do this study. Okay, so at the end, okay, at the end, now, now let's just, if they were 250 before, we're going to measure their weight after, and then we're going to subtract that. So if somebody came in at 250 and they left at 200, We'll go ahead and say that 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 person was a 50. Okay, so kind of just like before.
So I'm going to have 100 data points. And I'm just teaching concepts. You don't have to write this stuff. This is just the concepts. Okay, I have a confounding variable. And we'll say the x bar for the new. Okay, we'll say the x bar for the new. On average, people lost 60 pounds. Which I'm sure is pretty good. And here we're also going to have 100 data points also. 100 data points. And this will be the old. And the old, the old only lost... 20. Okay, so this is kind of similar. These results probably would be statistically significant. We wouldn't be able to tell without the standard deviation to see how much variance, okay, that was going on with these. But let's look at something, a big problem. Can you name a confounding variable? Okay, a confounding variable. Maybe some another factor that's out there that I didn't tell anybody. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't tell these people what to do. I just put them on the diet. So what's another really, really big factor that could affect weight loss, okay, that I didn't control, I didn't talk about, okay, and that would be exercise. So now I have a factor out here that it's a confounding variable, meaning that I have, okay, the diet causing these people to lose weight and exercise is causing these people to, do, to lose weight. So I'm not sure if this average weight loss of 60, okay, which means people are coming in on average about 190, okay, these people are coming in on average about 230, okay, that's a pretty significant difference. So I'm not sure if, if this was caused from the diet or just more people exercise. Okay, more people just exercised in this group. Okay, out of these 100 people, maybe 90 exercised. Out of these 100, maybe only 10 exercised. Okay, I didn't control that. So, so this is a confounding variable. Okay, so you really, really want to design a very good experiment that controls your variables to kind of um, combat this, combat your confounding variables. Okay, so... That's basically it. We'll be talking about this a lot, okay, especially the difference between confounding and uh, lurking. And we'll talk about that a lot in, in class. And so that's it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.